Hi, my name is Kelly and welcome back to my channel. So today, I'm so excited. So I have a mystery box from Typo and today we're gonna unbox it and see what's inside. I saw someone open one of these on TikTok a few weeks ago and it was so exciting. Like there were so many goodies in there and I was like, I need to get one of those. They were actually sold out for a bit but I finally managed to get my hands on one. This actually arrived about two weeks ago but I haven't got around to filming it until now and it's been sat in my room and I've just been staring at it and I've wanted to know what's inside and now we're gonna open it together and I'm so excited. On the website, they actually had a bunch of different ones they had like a lockdown one, they had a goodbye 2020 one, but this one is a stationary one and I love stationery. So I am very excited, if you couldn't tell already. I paid £15 and supposedly there are eight items in the mystery box. I'm not sure if there's a box within this box, but I, I'm not sure. And apparently I'll be saving £25 on all of the items, so it should have been £40. I'm gonna go ahead and open the mystery box here and then we're gonna move over to my desk and have a closer look at everything there in a moment. We might even test some stuff if there's like pens and notepads and stuff. So let's go! This is dangerous. Ooh. <clears throat> Ooh, it looks so nice. <gasps> There's so many goodies. So I wasn't sure if there was going to be a box inside. I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. There isn't a box inside, but it looks good. So the first item... Ooh, I almost dropped the box. Are oh, some pens. These are dual end markers. <gasps> They're so pretty. I don't know if you can tell, but they're like pastel and pretty. Sadly, I don't really use markers. Like I don't really have much use for them, but maybe if I start like writing cute things for my small business, they'll come in handy. But we'll take a closer look at these in a minute. I really like the look of them though. They look so cute. Second item is, <gasps> that is so cute. It's a faux leather journal, like a brown tan, and it's supposed to be six pounds. Oh, ooh. Ooh, that's so nice. The edge is like black and then the inside is like bullet journal. <gasps> I've always wanted a bullet journal, but I just don't have time to like put all my time into doing it. But if you guys want a series on TikTok or YouTube where I do a bullet journal, I would love to. I'm just such a perfectionist that I would spend ages on this, but this is so cute. It's such a nice size. Oh, I really like it. This is so my style, but we'll take a closer look at this in a minute. Next in the box we have, oh, this is so pretty. It says that it's a weekly diary. It's like, um, how do I describe this? Cotton? It's got like a cotton flowery cover, which is so cute. This is so pretty. And it's got like, this diary belongs to a procrastinator, a mastermind, creative genius. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Daydreamer, all of, I'm all of these. No, I'm not a mastermind. <laughs> This is adorable. I haven't actually got a diary for 2021. I had one for 2020 and I always start off really productive and then I end up just putting it to one side and forgetting about it and end up just using the calendar on my phone. I'm gonna try and use it, but my schedule just isn't very structured. So I feel like unless I've got big events like weddings or parties or birthdays or something, I don't usually write in one, but this is so pretty. I really, really like it. Ah! There's so many goodies in here. This is so exciting. Okay, so next up is another book, I think. What is this? Calendar. Oh, Feels like this box is trying to make me organized for this year. It's an environment one. So it's environment themed and every month has a different thing about saving the planet. And this is six pounds according to the label. This one's like deep, but I really like it. Next item is... Oh, I think that's my receipt. <gasps> Ooh, what is this? Another notebook, I think. It says on the front, the best of drinking games. And then it says a list of the best drinking games that are perfect to liven up any party, but it's blank. Now I'm confused. I think that's just the front. I think that's just like a cool cover. So I think this is just a notebook, but it's really cute. This one's supposedly three pounds 50 and it's recycled, but it's just plain pages, but it has dividers in it. Once again, we'll take a closer look in a minute, but this is cute. I like it. Ooh, what is that? Slightly smaller than everything else so far. Ooh, this is an essential pen pack. This one is supposedly seven pounds. It comes with some gel pens, some lead, a mechanical pencil. <gasps> I love mechanical pencils. And finally, we have some ballpoint pens. So we've got some black pens and some red pens. How cool. I'm always 
looking for pens, would you believe? You would think I have these things like handy, but <laughs> yay, this is really exciting. I'm gonna probably try and put these somewhere sensible and organized, but this is cute, yay. I love mystery boxes. <laughs> Next up, I think there might be only two items left, but I'm not sure, what's this? Just a piece of paper, another piece of paper. <laughs> Next up we have a journal. This is called an A5 Buffalo journal. It's supposedly eight pounds and it's in the size A5. Our little brown one that we had is in size A4. Nope, A6. I think this one's a bullet journal and this one is a lined journal. Ooh, this is so nice. It just has like lined paper inside, but once again has that nice black edge. Ooh, it's so nice. It's also like a suede texture. Super, super pretty. I don't know if I'm gonna use all of these things, so maybe I'll do a giveaway because it's all really, really nice, but I don't need like all these notebooks and stuff, but I'm super excited. This is really nice. I might have to, ooh, I don't know which to keep we'll see okay and i think this is the final item in the box it's yellow and i'm very excited about it because i love mustard yellow things Ooh, ooh. this is the most expensive thing of course i left it till last <laughs> it's 20 pounds supposedly let's open it up it's got a little baggie around it <gasps> what is this Ooh, it's a 2021 zip pocket diary pocket diary <laughs> whose pockets are that big it's pretty though let's open Oh, has a little popper, a little zip at the top here. Oh, maybe that's to keep your pens inside. Oh, I can't open it. Ew. Oh my gosh, it's stuck. I really got to open it. I'll take a closer look at that in a minute. Right, this is what it looks like inside. Oh. <laughs> Oh, it comes with another little diary inside. That's so cute. I already have a diary, so I don't know if I'm gonna need this one as well, but it's very, very cute. I love the pattern and it looks so pretty with this. It has a little pocket for the diary to go back into, but I, I, can't, I can't get it back in. <laughs> Everything's so cute. I was kind of hoping for more like pens and rubbers and pencils and stuff, but maybe that was just my luck. I don't know like what else you can get inside of them, but they have a bunch of other ones as well. So if you guys want me to order another mystery, mystery box one of the other ones let me know down in the comments below because i'd love to do more mystery boxes but let's go ahead and take a closer look at all these things over on my desk and see what we think okie dokie artichokey let's take a closer look so here's the first item this is the weekly diary that i'm definitely going to be keeping it is so cute as you can see it has a section for personal information and then it has a monthly calendar and then a daily calendar and then i spotted a secret note at the back of the diary which is so cute <laughs> next up we have the pink journal and the color of this one i love like the diary it also has a textured cover but this one's a lot softer. I think my favorite part of this book other than the pink cover is this nice black edging. As you can see the inside of the book is cream but the edges are black and I just think that looks so pretty. This is actually just a notebook so as you can see it's just lined paper but this one also had a cute little message at the back which was too relatable. But once again I'm definitely going to be keeping this to myself. It's just so cute and then we're going to move on to the next diary which is the yellow this one. This one kind of reminds me of like a faux leather clutch bag but as you can see it has a diary inside. It has a little popper and a zip. What I like about this one is all the little for compartments they're so cute as you can see there's a little one for pens and other little bits and bobs but overall it's so cute and i love the color so much next up we have the our world calendar i'm not going to be opening this one from the packaging so i'm actually going to be putting this in my giveaway i personally don't use calendars like this very much so i'm very excited for one of you guys to get your hands on it next up is this notebook which has kind of a weird cover i have no idea why it says drinking games on the but front but as you can see it's just your average old notebook it does have a little section for dates and it has little dividers in it too which can be really handy i would have loved this when i was at school but aside from the cover being a little weird this is a really handy notebook and next up we have the faux leather a6 journal i love this one so much it has a really soft texture and as you can see it has a little strap on the inside we have this bulleted paper you can hardly tell on the camera actually but it just has these little dots which allows you to customize it as you like and finally we have the pens yay so first of all we have the essentials pen pack which is a little bit boring but for me it's very exciting i'm always looking for pens especially to write on things for my small and business and to follow that we also have these pastel double-sided pens which i'm so excited about so we're gonna start by testing these out so as you can see there's six different colors and we're gonna test them all out in the back of my diary on the little scribble the first page. thing that i noticed while using these was that the thinner pens didn't have much vibrancy and i also noticed that the pens varied in like toughness some of them were a lot softer than but 
overall, I have to say, I really, really like them. And the colors are so pretty. Next up, I'm going to test the Essentials Pen Pack. I'm not going to spend too much time on this because they're just pens. But I just noticed that these are erasable gel pens, which I was so excited about because I haven't used erasable pens since I was at primary school. So as you can see, I tested the pen and then I decided to try and rub it out. I'm so sorry about the wiggly camera. Wiggle, wiggle, the wiggle. The pens did end up leaving a little bit of residue behind after rubbing them out, but I really can't complain because rubbing pens out is actually so cool. As you can see, the red also left a little bit of residue, but not quite as much, but I'm still pretty happy with the result. I then moved on to test out the ballpoint pens. How exciting. <laughs> I don't really have much to say about these. They're just pens. But they worked <laughs> A-OK. -okay. I personally prefer Bic pens a little more. They didn't go onto the paper quite as smoothly as a Bic pen, but overall, they worked out really good. But yeah, overall, I'm super happy with what I got inside. This is so cute. These are definitely my two favorite things that I got in the mystery box. But I also love this so much. I love it all. It's all so cute. The real question is, though, was it worth 15 pounds? I'm going to say, yeah. If you like stationery, this is awesome. I don't necessarily need all these books myself, but if you're someone who uses journals and books and diaries and stuff all the time, this is definitely for you. I'm really keen to try one of the other mystery boxes that are not stationery related because I think it might be full of like loads of fun stuff. They sell like mugs and all sorts of stuff. So maybe I will try another one. Let me know what you think down below. To conclude, I'm very happy. It's definitely over 15 pounds worth of product. But since I got so many doubles of things that I'm not necessarily going to be using myself. I'm actually going to do a giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away these three items as well as some other bits and bobs that I'll order in, especially for the giveaway. You'll be able to see all the details over on my Instagram. All you need to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Make sure you've liked this video. Also head over to my Instagram account, which is Kellen Half Sings, and make sure you're following and you've liked and followed the rules over on that Instagram post. But that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you're new here, make sure to like and subscribe because it really helps me out. But if you guys want to see more videos like this let me know down in the comments below or let me know what you want to see next because I love doing what you guys want to see but thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you all next week bye I'm trying to close it but I can't